Welcome to Video Quick Tips, the show that brings you tips and techniques to help you produce better video. I'm Bill Mecca. In this episode, number 25, can you believe it, 25 episodes, we're going to talk about a very important accessory. When I first got my Canon HV30, I needed a case to carry it in. So I went online and I found this nice little leather camera bag at Overstock.com. I think it cost me about $15. Pocket in the front, one on each end, fit the camera great. Except then I started getting some accessories and they're not gonna fit in here. This accessory, which I showed you earlier, in an earlier episode, the HT81 microphone is not gonna fit in that camera bag. So what I did, a little DIY project, I went to my local big box hardware store and got this. This is a task force aluminum tool case. And I'll give you a look inside. It has, it's basically designed for electronics, holding pliers, screwdrivers, that kind of thing. But it comes with pick and pluck foam. The foam is pre-cut into small cubes. There is about an inch wide border all the way around that's solid and you can't do that, but you can just go in, lay out your equipment, where you think it'll fit best, maximize your space, and pluck the foam out. Now, it's pretty easy to pluck the foam out if you wanna go all the way through. It's cut all the way through to the other side. I wanted to leave a little bit of a base there, so what I wound up having to do was pluck the foam and use a utility knife and cut them off about halfway. Came out a little bit rough, but it works. Now, the top part, I have batteries stuck in there, some uh, other small accessories. I have yet to take a knife to it and see if I can cut some of the pouches so I can turn two pouches into one so it's a little bit wider or two into three so it'll hold a little bit more. You could get some more foam and put it on the top. If you screw up the foam, the one place I know that carries it is MarkerTech.com. You can go there and uh, check it out. Now I went to Lowe's to get this and I went onto the website so I could show you a picture of it and the current price, but it wasn't there. But I did happen to be in the local store recently, last week actually, and it was there, and it was actually a couple dollars cheaper than what I bought it for. Uh, Home Depot also carries one that's similar, the Husky brand. Make sure it has the pick and pluck foam inside. They have a nice solid case. It comes with a strap. You can carry it over your shoulder, has a handle, and you can customize the inside of the case. Now, do you have a DIY video project you want to share with the rest of the class? Send it in or send me a link to it. I'll make it part of the show. We'll share it with everybody. It can be a project like this, a piece of equipment that you've made, maybe out of PVC, or how you've repurposed something to use in your video production projects. Or maybe it's just a sample of your work, a recent video using some of the techniques you've learned over the years. Send it in, I'll make it part of the show. That's it for this edition of Video Quick Tips. I'm Bill Mecca. See you next time. The year is 1973. Historical events fill our television screens from Watergate to the Vietnam War. And from the Pascagoula Gulf Coast and all around the world, UFOs are being reported in ever-increasing numbers. Join us as we explore UFO sightings in 1973.